I welcome back to my channel Physics 14 SSM. We continue chapter 2 Force and Motion 1 on topic 2.5 Momentum Part 1. The learning standard for this video is to discuss about explain momentum P as the product of mass M and velocity V. I will discuss some of examples by using the formula P equals to mv. What is momentum? The word momentum originates from Latin that means movement. Isaac Newton described it as quantity of motion. If you look at this picture, there is a very large truck or lorry and a car. Maybe some of the question might arise. Which vehicle is more difficult to stop? if both are driven at same velocity? If you look at the vehicles here, of course, we can say the lorry is heavier than motor. So we can say that the lorry will be difficult to stop if travel at high velocity. Why? What happens if both vehicles not travel with same velocity? So for this question, we can answer it by using the concept of momentum. Okay, let's define momentum. Momentum is defined as a product of mass and velocity. So you can see from here, momentum equals mass multiply velocity the symbol for momentum is small p equals to mass m multiply velocity v thus we get the formula p equals to mv the si unit for momentum is based on this formula unit for mass is kilogram unit for velocity is meter second to the power negative one Thus, SI unit for momentum equals to kilogram meter second to the power negative 1. Momentum is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. So, direction of momentum will follow direction of velocity V. So, from this formula, what we can say about the relationship between momentum and mass and also momentum and velocity. So from here, when the value of V is constant, the momentum is directly proportional to mass. Thus, from this situation, if the car and the lorry are driven at the same velocity, meaning momentum of the lorry is greater than momentum of the car. The second one, P directly proportional to velocity. Let's say the value of M is constant, same mass. So the one with higher velocity will have higher momentum. So for this lorry, for a greater mass, and greater velocity, it will, it will travel with greater momentum. Okay? So we can, what we can say about this uh, uh, concept of momentum, objects with larger momentum are more difficult to stop. Look at example 1. A lorry of mass 20,000 kg move with velocity of 22 meter per second. A car of mass 2,000 kg move with velocity of 30 meter second to the power negative 1. A, what is the momentum of lorry and the car? Okay, we can list down all the information. Mass of lorry M, 20,000 kg. Velocity of lorry V is 22 meter second to the power negative 1. Now we want to determine momentum. Use the formula P equals to MV. M is 20,000. V is 22. Look at the unit. Eh? The unit must be SI unit. Eh? 
Sometimes the unit for V given in kilometer per hour. Then you need to convert to meter per second. Okay, so we get four four zero one zero 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 four four hundred and forty forty thousand eh? kg meter second negative one. So you can write in standard form. Okay, and this uh, unit kilogram meter second negative two actually equals to newton second, meaning another word that can be used to uh, state eh, unit for momentum. So we get the value of momentum of the uh, lorry and the car. Oh, sorry for the lorry first, eh? 20,000 kilogram. Okay. For the car, we use uh, momentum equals to mass 2,000 times 30 meter second negative 1. So we get 60,000 kilogram meter second negative 1 or 60,000 newton second. Okay, for part B, momentum of lorry moving at velocity of the car. Velocity of the car is 30 meter second negative 1. So we get 20,000 times 30. So we get 600,000 kg meter second negative 1. Or 600,000 newton second. So for the unit, if you still not cannot, cannot understand how we get newton per second, you can refer to uh, chapter 1. Eh? The unit newton n is base unit. In base unit is kg meter second negative 2. Unit for momentum equals to kg meter second negative 1. So it equals to kg meter second negative 1 times second to the power 1. So this one equals to newton second. So it means the, another unit that can be used for momentum is newton second so from the value of uh, a and b what we can say about the momentum of the car and the lorry so look at the car smaller mass travel 30 meter second negative one the lorry greater mass huh, travel at the same velocity huh, 30 meter second negative one so look at the value of momentum for the lorry is 600,000 newton second. For the car is 60,000 newton second. So obviously we can say uh, momentum of the lorry is greater than momentum of the car due to its higher mass. So mass affects momentum. Or in other words, we can also say that uh, velocity also affects momentum. Okay, so there are two factors that affect momentum, mass and velocity. Yeah? The higher the mass, the higher the momentum. The higher the velocity, the higher the momentum. Okay, example 2, a student releases a ball mass 2 kg from height 5 m from the ground. What would be the momentum of the ball just before it hits the ground? Air resistance is negligible. When there is no air resistance, this one is free fall case. Okay, uh, release from certain uh, point, meaning initial velocity u equals to zero, acceleration e equals to g, uh, 9.81, displacement s equals to height 5 meter. So, what is final velocity? Okay, so because we want to determine the momentum, there must be mass and Velocity. So how to determine the velocity? So we can use the formula for the free fall case, eh? the linear motion equation. So from here we use v square equals u square plus 2as. Initial velocity is 0. Okay, fall down. Eh? 2 times 9.81 times 5. So we get v equals to 9.90 meter second to the power negative 1. So I, I don't put the negative sign here. Eh? The momentum P equals to MV, thus 2 times 9.90 equals to 19.8 kg meter second to the power negative 1. So this is the momentum of the ball just before it hits the ground. Okay? It's about to hit the ground. That's the final velocity. So that one is the momentum of the ball. Okay? So I will stop here for the first part. Huh?
I will continue with the second part 2.5 momentum part 2. For this one, I will discuss on principle of conservation of momentum in collision and explosion. So that's all bye.